I made a video recently, it's been one of my most popular videos, talking about what would happen in the auto market, in my view, by 2030. Who the winners and who the losers will be. I'll put a link in the description below to that video. However, some news has just come out that changes that prediction in my video. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the Electric Viking. My name is Sam Evans, and I'm coming to you here from Melbourne, Australia. Just want to say, hope you had an awesome 2021, and hope you have an even better 2022. You know what? Let's do it. Let's kill 2022. Let's smash it. Let's have an awesome year. Let's just do those things we've been putting off. Let's do some of the things that are on our bucket list. You know what? Let me know in the comments section below, what do you plan on doing in 2022? What are your goals? What do you want to make happen? What are your dreams? Let me know as well. I'll tell you what some of my dreams are. I want to live near the beach and I want to go surfing with my boys. Not every day, but you know, as much as possible. That's one of my goals. I'd love to do that. So putting it out there. I think when you put it out there, you tell other people what your goals are, you're more likely to make them happen. The other thing I want to do is increase subscribers on the channel from 50,000 or nearly 51,000 now to 120,000 next year. That's my goal. Let me know what yours are for this coming year. Geely will help Waymo achieve its goals in 2022. Geely's new electric car brand called Zika will develop driverless vehicles for Waymo, which is basically Google. For those of you who don't know, Waymo has been developing autonomous vehicles for Google as their kind of autonomous driving arm for a long time now. In fact, they've been working on this project for over a decade, and they do actually have some driverless vehicles in the United States, which you can hail down as a taxi, and they technically don't have to have a driver in them. But they are geofenced. That is one of the challenges of these vehicles. But anyway, that's besides the point. The point here of this video is to point out the fact that Geely's electric car sales, well, this could be an interesting change in what happens for Geely. Now, the vehicles that they develop will actually be used in Waymo's ride hailing service called Waymo One and put into commercial operation in the United States. Now, Geely Holding Group announced on Tuesday a partnership with driverless technology company Waymo, well, basically Google, for which its premium electric vehicle brand Zika will develop all electric vehicles. The vehicles will be used in Waymo's ride hailing service, Waymo One, and put into commercial operation in the US in 2022, apparently, according to the press release. Now, these vehicles will be designed and developed at Zika's CEVT, or China Europe Vehicle Technology Center Research and Development Facility in Gothenburg, Sweden, according to Geely. Now, Waymo will take delivery of the vehicles in the United States, and then it will integrate its fully autonomous Waymo driver into the vehicle platform, Geely said. Now, the new Zika vehicle is designed for autonomous use and will feature a fully configurable cockpit, both with and without driver controls that can be customized to meet passenger requirements for the Waymo One unmanned, non-hailing, ride-hailing fleet in the United States. Now, this model is based on Zika's smart mobility platform, the SEAM architecture on which it will also launch future models for use in Chinese markets. Now, if you don't already know, the Chinese are actually doing some incredible stuff on autonomous cars. No one in the United States seems to be aware of what's going on there. We sort of think that everything is either Tesla or Waymo with Google or GM with Cruise, or there's some other fleets as well in the United States that are doing some really impressive work. But actually, similarly impressive work is being done in China. I'll put a link in the description below to some of the videos I've made about the autonomous driving services in China. Now, one of the companies doing some impressive things, not the most impressive, but impressive for a car brand is Xpun. Their autonomous driving software is really quite impressive. And I expect that that may actually be legalized within the next two or three years for full ride handling services in Xpun's vehicles. It's one of the reasons I've invested in Xpun. Now, if you don't know, Zika is Geely's premium electric vehicle brand who are established earlier this year. And the Zika 001 is the first model they created. A renaming of the model previously known as the Link Zero. Now the Zika 001 is based on Geely's SCA architecture and is positioned as an all-electric mid-size sedan 
It was launched on April the 15th, 2021, and deliveries began in October. Data monitored by CNEV Post shows that the Zika delivered 200 vehicles in October and 2,012 vehicles in November. December delivery figures are expected to be released in the coming days. So that's quite a change, 200 to 2,000 vehicles. Now, the questions I have here is exactly how much of the technology side of things will the Zika be implementing into the car for Google? Because obviously, it'd be very hard for Google to just come along, take a built car, everything's developed and everything's made, and just plug their systems into it. There's got to be something going on here in terms of some sort of symbiotic relationship. And I think Zika will benefit from this relationship. There's no other reason for them to really get into this situation with Waymo. I mean, so there has to be something in this for Zika and for Geely. Obviously, there's something in this for Google. They're getting these vehicles probably at a good price. So when I find out what that is, what Zika or Geely will get out of this relationship, I think there's something significant then I'll let you know. But no matter what happens, it's clearly going to increase the awareness of Geely's electric vehicles, the awareness of Zika as an electric car brand in the United States, where Geely plans on launching the Zika brand in the not too distant future. Obviously, Geely does sell electric cars worldwide through its Volvo and Polestar brands. By the way, no, they aren't owned in Sweden by some Swedish, they're owned by Chinese holding company, Geely. So what I want to know is, have you used Google's autonomous ride hailing service? And what did you think of it if you have used it? Let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching the video and I'll see you again on the next one. Bye-bye.